Hi everyone. Well, on Sunday, we uh, finished the Comfort and Courage series and we did part four of the Comfort and Courage series. And unfortunately, we had a technical problem and uh, it wasn't recorded. So I thought I'd just uh, do a quick um, little video just to encourage you uh, that the God of all comfort wants to, co wants to comfort you. And uh, we read from the whole series was based around 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 5. And it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the same comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. And as we came to the close of the series, we spoke about the ever-present comfort and courage of God. And of course, we looked at how Jesus said that I would not leave you orphaned. I would not leave you comfortless, fatherless. In John chapter 14, verse 18, he said, I will not leave you comfortless. He will send another comforter in the Holy Spirit. And of course, we understand now from our series that when God comforts us, the result of that is courage. That courage comes from uh, God's comfort, that He Himself wants to comfort us through any tribulation so that we in turn would be able to comfort a world that cannot receive comfort from Him except through us because the world cannot receive the Holy Spirit but but we can and the world can receive us and so we looked on Sunday at how uh, the Holy Spirit in Romans chapter 5 verse 5 uh, the Holy Spirit is the one who God uses to pour out the love of the Father into our hearts and so the Holy Spirit pours out the love of the Father the comfort of the Father the comfort love of God into our hearts which comforts us and releases us in courage and we see how in the in the book of acts the holy spirit came as another comforter and how he empowered and encouraged the disciples and ultimately it was his the the love of the father being poured out by the holy spirit that caused the disciples to have courage second to none to that that the bible even says that they said of them that they had turned the world upside down. And so we see the great courage of the, of the early apostles came because the love of the Father had been poured out by the Spirit. And on Sunday, we also just went and referred to Galatians chapter 5 that says that the fruit of the Spirit is love. It says fruit of the Spirit, singular, is love. And then the rest of the list of the characteristics can be found really in love. So God wants His love poured out into the world through us as His church. The last scripture we ended with was John chapter 13, verse 34. It says, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. That you love one another as I have loved you. That you comfort love one another as I have loved you. It's only as we can receive the comfort love of God that we will be able to comfort a world in need and bring Jesus to them. And then it says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, by the love that you have one for another. And so as we wrapped up our series on comfort and courage, uh, God invites us afresh to receive him as our comfort and our comforter, that as we come to him as a child, we will draw comfort out of him. And we will come to a fresh place where we will find as a byproduct of his great love, we will find that courage is our portion, the very courage of God, not self-motivated courage, not psych it up courage, not tough it out courage, but true, authentic, godly kingdom courage comes because we have been well loved and well comforted as we learn to receive his kingdom and approach him as little children. We will be comforted. The result of that will cause great courage to come and his kingdom to advance through us. So it's been an exciting series. And I trust that you've been blessed by listening to the, the first three parts. And um, trust that this little summary of the fourth part will be a blessing to you. God bless you. And uh, may his comfort be your portion. 
and his courage be expressed through you to see his kingdom come.